It's all about relationships, I think. Film and television is a very collaborative medium. Sky is such a unique place to bring professionals from around the world who are at the top of their game and have them interact with young, new, wannabe talent. Yeah, access to that sort of information and critique has blown my mind. I've been running a company for a while and suddenly 30 years crept up on me. Inevitably, I thought a bit about legacy. Something amazing has happened since I've been in Sky, whether it's been you know, the Inbetweeners or it's been the Gallic film. Everything I've done, I've managed to incorporate quite a bit of training, whether formally or informally. So I managed to push the story idea even further than I, than I imagined. Chris didn't leave any rock unturned. I, I don't know where the gaps are. I don't think there are any gaps in, uh, in, in what we could have covered. We've just gotten really well. We're so involved in each other's projects. I had young, new writers, directors and producers to be able to sit down with first-class writer, producer, directors in film and television and learn. That's why we're here, to find out what it really is, what's the core of the project, what's the heart of the story. You probably, even if you don't articulate it as such, you have a natural understanding of structure. You, your job as a producer is to find out the language the writer is comfortable talking. In the space of a week, we give them a very memorable and hopefully useful practical experience. We use the studio, do filming, do scenes from their scripts. Uh, work with actors, have one-to-one -one sessions with writers on their scripts. Particularly when I was doing my first pitch, it was really nice to have such wonderful support from these people that I didn't know. So the mentors, so we had in the end about 20 uh, writers, producers and directors, top-notch people in their field. What I've been doing while I've been here has been spending time with the six participants who are all in various ways trying to get their first programme, film, documentary, drama made. It's been the most wonderfully magical experience. We have six participants who are so eager to learn. They're getting opportunities to understand more about how the industry works, to think about what they have to sort of set their sights on. I think the value of the residency is for them early on when they are developing the project. It's been very impressive, just these six students, how far they can come in such a small amount of time. What Chris has done is bring together such a stellar mixture of experts, mentors, people with different experience over many years. It's quite rare to get all these different sorts of people in one room. We've got here producers, commissioners, writers, musicians, actors. Part of their involvement has been working with the participants, listening to their pitches and, and providing feedback. The level of expertise that the mentors and tutors have brought to this is uh, um, really powerful. When you're very early in your career, the understanding of how the industry works and the expectation of it is it, quite a steep learning curve. It can take two to three years to really understand what the journey is going to be. I would struggle to find a better environment than this. The landscape is inspiring, you know, the sky is inspiring, but the, the, the way the whole thing is set up classroom-wise, the way people are talking, the informality of it, it's great. <laughs> so I think it's a win-win. And to do this against a backdrop such as that behind me now is just fantastic. It's very unusual to have a hub like that in the middle of the Highlands and Islands. That does make it very special because it's a combination of the most spectacular scenery, but also the technical infrastructure and a setting in which you can go into a studio, or you can have a screening, or you could break out into a very nice restaurant. By the end of the week, everyone was saying, well, this has got to happen next year, you know. Presumably, this is an annual event now, and by the way, we'll come next year, and can we come for a week?
writing, producing, directing talent doesn't get enough opportunity in Scotland. People could think, well, it can be done. You know, if these guys can do Bannon in Gaelic with subtitles, then surely we can do that too. You know, it's possible. It sort of feels like there's a place in Scotland for new talent to discover what they can do and fulfill their full potential. This is a kind of springboard for that.